How are you guys? I hope you're all having a wonderful day. Uh, today I want to keep going through my Hot Toys uh, purchases. This time, as you guys could see, I have Spider-Man Miles Morales. This is the one six scale figure from Hot Toys. This is the uh, Bodega Catsuit version, which I just got a couple of weeks ago. So I just want to go over for anyone out there that may be interested. You guys could see cool artwork on the box. There's Spider-Man the Cat and Spider-Man Miles Morales. Uh, here is the side artwork with the Miles Morales uh, print there and um, just some legal stuff. I've already taken uh, this stuff um, out of the box, so I won't go through any sort of unboxing. But I did want to show, this is one of those uh, slip on off uh, type deals uh, box. But the back of the box is pretty cool. It actually shows you the figure and the different um, poses that you can put this guy in. Uh, I believe the other figures may have this, at least the other Spider-Man figures. I may have just missed it, but I think it's really cool. They show you all the different poses, all the different accessories, and everything that you can do with this figure. And additionally, they also have a bit of a blurb here on the uh, toy itself. So without further ado, as I said, I already took this guy out of the box, the container, so I won't go through that. And I'll just go over the um, accessories that this guy comes with. Okay, so I decided to start off uh, with the accessories here, and this is, I think, one of the strengths of this figure is if you like to post it and you like to switch out accessories, etc., this figure does come with a ton, as you can see, and there's more here off to the side that I'll show you in a second. Uh, but you do get some standard stuff that you do get with other Spider-Man figures, which is these uh, webbing uh, patterns. This one's really cool that you can put in his hands. This one goes at the end of uh, stuff like this, where they give you like one, two, three, about five different styles that you could sort of uh, use these to combine and, and make it look a certain way. You know, th these are really cool if you like to pose and make him uh, look like he's swinging or, or throwing web at people, etc. So you do get those which have come with other uh, Spider-Man figures in the past. As far as what's specific to this guy, I mean, if you play the video game, uh, for the most part, you'll be familiar with a lot of this stuff. Um, I guess we could start off with uh, this little thing, which is a gift box. And this is what uh, I believe Peter gave to Miles in the game. This is essentially where his suit uh, was in. This was the gift, but it's actually uh, fully wrapped up. And um, it's a pretty convincing look for a newspaper. And there's some, you know, it's a Daily Bugle. Uh, it says your tax dollar is not at work surveillance towers uh sorry an expensive bus which i guess is in relation to the game um but really cool that they included this it's a little cardboard box that he can hold um there's this little um book which is essentially his sketchbook and uh really cool in here is there are some blank pages but there are pages where he's going through i'm assuming the design process for his costume the different logos the line work uh, that Miles, I guess, used as a guideline for designing his suit. Uh, also designing his um, web shooters. And the rest of it is blank. So again, this is something that he can hold. And you guys could see there are some drawings. So that's that's really cool. Um, you get these effects, which are his from his powers. I think his spider sting. These can go in the fists. And you can put them on and, you know, post them accordingly and make it seem like he's using his, his powers there. Um, let's do these rollerblades, which I don't believe he wore these in the game specifically. Um, at least I don't remember that he did. But these are really cool. Uh, they're really well detailed. There's some nice weathering on the rollerblades. Uh, obviously, you could see here these little, you know, we're just make help him go faster and these actually roll which is really cool they both uh do roll and these are attached to the figure via the leg uh ball joint so you get two of them if you want to switch uh yeah these are really cool i don't know if you could tell there in the camera there's some good detailing on on these things uh great job i think by hot toys there's some wear and tear there on the name on the side uh, this is really cool. So you get that. Um, you get this cool backpack, which it's actually nicely made. 
the cool thing about this is, is that you can put this on a figure and uh, these straps do come off they're clipped on as such on both sides so you can put them on the figure and then clip it back on just be really careful with when you put it back there you go um obviously when you're taking taking these things out i wouldn't go around pulling them by here or by here uh, i'll make sure that you take them out via this thicker part here but this is again really well done a lot of good detailing uh, i love that they even bother to include detail on the back looks like a regular backpack this portion here uh, on the top does come off because there is a different kind of um, lid here that you can put on that you can take out and this comes off and there's a different kind of lid that you can put on top which i'll cover in a second but essentially this is a good segue into the next accessory which is these uh spider-man the cat so you get two of them you get one version where he's supposed to be resting on this bag and essentially you can put you can place him in this way and uh, you know the other alternate covering that goes will allow him to look like he's peeking out um, or you could also place him uh, facing forward if you wanted to. Uh, so it looks like he's facing this way. This is really cool. Um, as far as uh, the cat itself, I think is really well done. It's a better looking cat than the one that came in with Captain Marvel, I will say. Um, it, I don't know. This one just looks much better. I love the mask with the detail there. Uh, the other version of Spider-Man, the cat that you get... It's this one where he's essentially jumping at someone or, or, you know, about to attack them. Really cool. You can put these in action poses. And uh, again, I think it's really well done. And you guys will notice that there is a little hole here for a plastic peg. Because you can't uh, essentially mount this cat on Miles' uh, uh, backpack here with a little plastic uh, tab. So I'll show that later on. So these are the accessories that come in the main uh, carton. Oh, and the last thing you do get is the obligatory stand. Um, I don't like that this is not one of those screw-on types. You're going to have to press it in. And once it's in, it seems like it would be very tough to take out. But again, I, lo I love the matte material here that they've used. Uh, there is some shining on, uh, on the letters. And you get Bodega Katsu here. And you get the clamp. You guys could see... Uh, you know for you to post them etc and the bendy pole so that's really cool uh in addition to all this you get uh you know the standard um hands you get a whole bunch and hopefully i can open this without um making a mess of things here so there you go so i didn't want to take all this out and pull it out one by one because it looks so neat here so this is the piece that goes in the backpack um as i showed you earlier you can tab it into these two sections and it'll look like the backpack's halfway open to allow uh, Spider-Man the cat to sit in there. Um, you get a little stand where essentially you could put Spider-Man the cat in here and have him uh, sort of sit there on, on the floor if you wanted to. Uh, you get a little coffee cup because, uh, you know, Miles needs his coffee, I guess. Let's see if you can get that. It says... Uh... Yeah, coffee. Enjoy your cup of coffee. That's uh, so cool. You get the different set of eyes, which are held on by a magnet. You get his iPhone or a phone in general where he's talking to Ganki, Genki, I think. You get these cool headphones, which you can slip on to the character's head, to Spider-Man's head. I think they're really well done. Um, you get these, I think these I've gotten on, on previous Spider-Man figures. This is uh, the switch out. Um, portions for the hands to allow you to attach the webbing so it looks like he's shooting webs out of his uh, wrists and you get all these other hands that you see here um you know thumbs up uh peace sign uh the send it out hands uh shooting spider web hands and the fists um or grabbing hands rather and this is in addition to the hands that he already comes with so as you guys could see a lot of accessories, a lot of things to, to sort of play around and have with if you wanted to post this guy a certain way. Um, as far as the backpack, as I just mentioned a little while ago, you could take essentially this part, um, this alternate opening, pop it in there into the sections, and it looks like that. 
and then you can um, insert if you wanted to, um, you know, Spider Cat in there. He has a section, Spider Man and Cat, where he can sit in there, and that looks really awesome. Cool. So now that we're done with all the accessories, uh, let's go over the figure. Alrighty. So back to the uh, figure here. Finally got him out. Uh, I showed you all the accessories and everything he comes with, which is awesome. Uh, the figure itself is great. Um, I I love the fact that as as we get closer, you'll see this um, hoodie or sweatshirt that he has here. I think it's pretty well done. Uh, my only complaint about it is these strings don't really look like uh, strings here. They're kind of just neatly folded in there. So I, perhaps they could have done a better job there. But it's not too bad. You get the spider uh, design there on the, you know, on the front. Nothing on the back. I do like the color, the burgundy color that I guess or red they've chosen. It's pretty well done. Um, you know, you can stick stuff here in the pockets, so you can put a cell phone in there if you wanted to. The body itself, the head, uh, again, he has, uh, he is able to move his head left and right. You can make him look up and down. Uh, the eyes are held on by magnets, so if you wanted to switch one out, you kind of just push up on the top and you see the magnets there. Really cool. Um, underneath here, there is still uh, some of this material, but it's not the full suit because there's no detailing on it. So just to show you, it's kind of like just this black, uh, really soft uh, material there. And the suit kind of starts at the waist uh, portion. Uh, as far as the suit itself, uh, I mean, yeah, this is Miles' uh, suit. It's, uh, again, really well done. You do get a lot of detail here and line work. I love these red sections at the bottom with the webbing. Uh, these are not raised per se, but uh, almost, they almost look like stamped in. But it, it's really cool. I think it's really well done. And he's wearing his kicks, his high tops. Um, really cool. Now, as far as articulation, this figure, um, uh, it does benefit from having this sweatshirt on the top. So essentially, there's still obviously this kind of material underneath, but it's not a fully finished suit, as I mentioned. So the good thing is, is you can pose the uh, upper portion, the upper body portion here pretty much any way you want it to, right? I mean, you can lift up the arms. You've got ratchets here. You can put the arms back if you wanted to. Uh, there's some ratcheting here on the um, the ab crunch that he has there. You can also make him look all the way up. Um, you can turn him slightly as, you know, as, as much as the sweater will allow. Um, you can, you know, you can hear the ratchets here on the elbows, but, you know, sorry, on the shoulders. You can bend the elbows almost fully, you know, way past 90 degree. The arms here, you know, they're on a ball joint, so you can fully turn them around if you wanted to. There are um, web shooters built into the sweatshirt. Um, I guess that's their way of kind of showing it that, you know, he has the web shooters on. Um, so this top portion, I think, out of all the Spider-Man, at least the Hot Toy Spider-Man figures that I have, um, it's top notch just as far as uh, posting. Like I said, you can take this and you know bend it, no issues. Now, my assumption is like any kind of material, the material underneath is still going to show marks uh, if you leave it post up for a long time. But the good thing is, is because you have this sweatshirt covering all that, who cares? You won't really see it, right? So you can leave the top portion uh, pretty much post any way you want to and this is what i love about this figure now when it comes to the bottom portion this is where you need to be a little more careful and this is more like the other spider-man uh hot toys like like those suits uh the material is very similar to the advanced uh suit so again i think you need to be cautious you can you can post this guy any um pretty much as much as you can i mean you can bend the leg but as you could see, you're going to get um, folds here and you could try and stretch the material a little bit. But as you could see, if you leave this, um, you're going to get a lot of creases. So just be really careful there. Um, you know, you can move the leg back. You can, as I said, move this this way. Your knees can move. But again, 
as you guys could see here if you do leave this in a um, you know, in this position for a long time, uh, you are going to get creasing and you could see it's hitting some of the red um, pattern there. So just be really careful with that, you know, you, but I think the, the benefit is that I think the upper portion does do a good job of being very uh, articulated. Just be really careful with the bottom. I think if you have other Hot Toys, um, you know, Spider-Man Hot Toy figures, they use this same material. Um, you know you you know what to do uh the only also a bit of a bummer is because the way these legs are designed i want to show you uh there is is not necessarily a ball joint here so uh you don't you get a limited range of motion on the on the feet so essentially you kind of just move you can move left and right and there is a bit of um i guess ankle tilt um but then the shoe starts hitting back here uh, and you don't want to pull on it too much. So there is some of some of the you know compromise that you have to make with the lower uh, portion. I would just again be uh, really careful there. The top is awesome. I think that will allow you to put him in, in great in a whole bunch of uh, different configurations. And then as I said, uh, as far as accessories, this guy's top notch when it comes to the you know the amount of things that he comes with. So if you wanted to, you can, for example, put this backpack on. So you could take this off. You could essentially uh, come back here and, as I said, just tap this in there and tap this in here. And there you go. Now we have uh, Miles with his backpack. Here's what the cat looks like in the back hanging out. Uh, you can also take uh, Spider-Man the cat and sort of uh, try and pose him facing forward slightly like that um yeah i mean and you can play with all these different accessories he's he's definitely got the hands to hold like his phone you guys could see it there you could fit, fit that on the on the pocket if you wanted to um all these different accessories like the gifts he can definitely hold in his hands you know you just got to switch out the hands and it looks like he's holding the present, so it's it's really cool uh, the amount of things this guy comes with that it's a homage uh, to the game. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, you can take these, this, essentially the sneakers out and um, put on the rollerblades, and they kind of just pop in. And that's sort of what they look like on, right? And you can go rollerblading. <laughs> uh, but I, I love this figure. Uh, I really do. I especially appreciate the uh, whole top portion being a lot more uh, pliable. And also, you know, you won't see any, any kind of creasing underneath because it's covered by this uh, really cool sweatshirt. So I I do would, would recommend this figure for anyone out there that's a fan uh, of it. As I say, you get a ton of accessories. You get a to Spider-Man the Cat, which is really cool. And, and you can pose the upper portion to your heart's content. So that's really cool. And then before, I guess I, uh, you know, decide to end the video, uh, maybe I'll do some comparisons to my other Hot Toys. So one thing I forgot to add, I wanted to mention is um, this Spider-Man the Cat, as I noted earlier, has a little section here and you can uh, put him on this stand if you so wish so you could pop that in there and he could be sitting on the ground there if that is uh, how you want to pose him the other uh, option is there is a little clear stand here where uh, again it's a little ball joint and you can just slot that in place and it has a section here for uh to mount this on the straps of the backpack now i have mounted it it looks really cool one of the things though that i, I would just uh, make sure that you guys uh, when you do get this or if you already have this maybe you've already noticed uh you need to make sure that you do in fact try and insert uh this sections um pretty neatly in there you don't want to catch uh sort of like the straps and somehow bend this because this material uh looks like it's uh it would keep you know if you get it nicked or something it can get damaged uh if you're not putting this stand on 
uh, I guess sort of the right way and you do there is some bending that's required of this to get it uh, in there so just be uh, very cautious with putting this on onto the straps there but it does look really cool uh, as I said it's on a bow joint here so the cat can be posed in different ways there okay so as we wrap up just want to do some quick comparisons here to other other uh, hot toys uh, figures that I have here on my desk so you, as you guys could see Here's a bodega cat suit. I uh, switched out his hand, gave him his present there. Spider cat's hanging out in the back. Spider Man, the cat, uh, his headphones are on. So, really cool uh, accessory wise. Here he is next to the uh, advanced suit Spider Man. Again, these fit in really well, uh, pretty much from the same uh, kind of video game uh, centric line. They do, do uh, look really cool uh, all together. Uh, the other Spider-Man that I currently have in my collection is the Cyborg uh, suit Spider-Man here. And this one is a slightly taller, but I do still like, like the way that looks. You guys could see him there sort of just uh, hanging out uh, together with Miles. Uh, that looks awesome. So we'll move the, this guy out of the way. And then the other two uh, that I have here is just the... Captain uh, Marvel from um, the MCU movie. So you guys could see them there uh, together. She's in a stand uh, floating. I know a whole different series, but if anybody want to see those two together. And then uh, lastly, here he is uh, next to um, War Machine, which is a beast of uh, a figure here. Let's see if we can get him to, to stand up correctly here. There you go. Um, again, you know, um, War Machine's much bigger, right? It's a huge suit that um, the guy there has on. But just in case anyone was interested, that's what they look like uh, together. Anyway, uh, so perhaps you made it to the end of the video. If so, thank you so much. Uh, for spending your uh, time with me you know hopefully you enjoy the review if not you know please feel free to leave a comment suggestions you know if you have any questions i do recommend this figure i think it's uh the bodega cat suit here uh will be will be a great addition to anyone's uh collection he comes with a lot of accessories uh the upper portion of this figure is extremely uh possible the lower is as well but you're risking a bit of damage if you leave them there long term, you guys could see, I think if you are looking to expand your Spider-Man collection, at least for me, these three look really well done together. There's Spider-Man the cat. So yeah, I would definitely recommend this one, um, you know, for anyone out there that may be interested. Anyway, thank you for your time. Thank you for spending your very valuable time with me. Uh, feel free to leave a comment. If not, I will see you next time. Uh, be nice to each other. Take care. And uh, be well.